we feel like we're favored, but we don't know what favor is until we get divine favor. It's that divine favor that gives us that favor with men. Hallelujah. It's that favor that we need, which gives us that peace that passes all understanding. It's that favor that we need that gives us that peace that will be like a river. And the righteousness as the waves of the sea. You see, we need our seed to be blessed so much that they outnumber the grains on the seashore. You see, it's that favor that will allow our names to not be cut off or destroyed from before, before him. You see, so when we actually allow God, hallelujah, and his righteousness, his holiness to become ours, Hallelujah. That's when things begin to happen. That's when we actually reside in a safety. That is when when the, when the, when those weapons that have been formulated against us, uh, hallelujah, happen. And those things that take place, it shall not prosper because of the righteousness that is of God. Because we've been vindicated through his holiness. Because there's been a shift in, uh, in our life. Because we've been tagged along with his rising glory. Because his glory is ever rising. We're starting to get in the depth of God. And we're starting to, oh God, revel in the goodness of God. And, and the greatness of God. And the nobility of God. And that's why it's so often, it's, it's so essential for us to shift. In our holiness as a lot of us feel like we're already walking in holiness but God is always calling us deeper because there's always much more of God that we can attain hallelujah there's much more of God that we can attain and it's only through uh, me just sitting down and heeding hallelujah what God was trying to tell me or oh, oh, not trying to what God has told me and actually heed it before I can actually experience how to understand this revelation, understand how important it is for us to constantly allow God to shift us to deeper realms in Him.